he was, I think he was drunk, and he looks at me, he goes, we're gonna forgive you because you're you. Come back to me in six months. He gave me a fist bump, he didn't talk to me for four years. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling better than I ever been. Cairo in his bag, this beat is heaven sin. Back up in my element, new whip, trunk up in the front, I whip an elephant. It's all limo tent, that's how you move when you the president. You ask the off stream, treat him like my last name. Disrespecting, you just signed a check for a long day. All right, another round table first. Welcome Zen, and also congratulations on the re-signing for, uh, for Boston. Thank you. Fuck yes. Yeah, yeah. I get to piss on you one more year. <laughs> That's not right. Well, you're right. actually terrible. Huh? You're actually terrible. Go on, you don't mean that. Remember that three piece on uh, P1 Gav? Sprinted at you with a pistol? Oh, shit. Big doll over you? Okay, oh. now. It's got see, it in the memory bank. Yeah, because I thought that there were, th I killed one. I thought there were three people in ring. I thought I was about to clutch like crazy. I started pre-firing. an excuse for everything. He was in my Twitch chat that night explaining himself. He was in different Twitch chats. Oh, like, oh, here's exactly what happened. He's live on stream. No, this is what I don't listen to this video. I believe it. I have too much pride, man. For three days straight. <laughs> dude, biggest, I, I get, I defense the worst mode. I'm in loser. defense mode all the time. I gotta just be loose. I gotta get loose, man. You're the worst loser I know. So how was the off season for both? I am a bad loser. You're a fucking awful. You loser. might be the worst one. But I'm not that bad of a winner. Like when I no, win, it's not. not that bad, right? Not. Nah, then you have the team that walks in with the trophy at the bar Sunday night. That was champs. No, I'm saying you have the people who do that, and they're just, they walk oh, in. Oh, oh, yeah, we did that. We did that at IW Chance. Stone Island Pan. We came in with like bottles of champagne, walking in the lobby. I do the same <laughs> shit. <laughs> I win yeah, champs. Was champs. Yeah. Yeah. We finally got one. You gotta, you gotta let me have that. So the off season for you guys was pretty stressful, right? And uh, explain it from your point of view. Mine are always miserable. I want to know. <laughs> so are mine. Yeah, we backed you up on Come the on. podcast, though. So. Yeah, I know. Thank you. I mean, I wake up in like a state of anxiety phone i'm terrified I, like i'm scared to flip my phone over yeah. texting the gm but finally i got the call yeah actually yeah i can't that's it's gotta like, be fucking horrible. it just like you just gotta not take it personally because obviously like they were very transparent and you know different players like dashy announced for like a day that he was restricted they're gonna talk to dashy i don't take it personal but damn man like you're stress-free every season like, you just, <laughs> <laughs> he was in hawaii like, you just wake well, up yeah, <laughs> i said i said so are mine mine are definitely stressful though like, no, it's not. Uh, yours are stressful in a different way. Yeah. You're you're stressful because you're making decisions. No, he's yeah. stressful because he's getting decisions I, told okay. to Yeah, I'm just sitting there just waiting. Okay. Before, like, I, I am not the only one making decisions. No, no defense mode. No defense mode. I'm in defense mode again. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, defense mode again. <laughs> I promise everyone I am not the only one making decisions. No, obviously. But I'm saying, like, you're not droppable. They can't, like, you're never going to call and go, listen. Well, I know. We're when, bringing in someone else. When I get to the point... <laughs> I know no, when, never, like, ever, ever. if I'm ass, I'm going to hang it up. I'm not going to do that to the team. I'm still, like, pretty good, in my opinion. But I'm saying, like, you are, until you walk away, you're good. You could be dropping point fours, you're fine. No, but I would never do that. I, I know, but what I'm saying is, I could drop one point twos, and I'm still pacing back and forth. Yeah, on my that deck. doesn't make sense. I'm hitting up everybody. Zing? Wait, was it really that close for you, where you felt like you could yeah. have gotten a call and just... Yeah. Because I mean, the team's got to say... They were very transparent. Like, I was allowed to talk to other teams, and... Right. It wasn't like I was waiting and I was just like all the eggs in one basket. They were very like, talk to teams, see what's going on. I feel like the people that get dropped, they must. It's the way must it goes. have an idea, though, that like you're on the hook. Or can you really just get the group blindsided like that? No, you can oh, definitely dude. get blindsided. Oh, no. Really? You always feel it. <laughs> you're texting people, they're not replying. You're like, no. <laughs> they're like, always on their you phone. know, though. You're like, like no you're way. Ever, like, if you're being a bad teammate or you, like, had a bad, like, you know if like, you, you had a bad season. Like, you will know if the season, vibes are you off. You know and... if you were being an asshole. Like, you yeah. know. Like, you no, have to. I, I don't know. Did you I'm, ever get I'm dropped? Convinced you're like an well, maybe that's why I wouldn't know. I don't know. I'm convinced you never got dropped? Against me. Well, I was going to say, Zin, I was going to gas you, but then well, you almost got hoed this year. Like, you definitely deserve to be on a good team this year. After last year. I couldn't believe it. I'm talking to different orgs, like, eh, they're like. I saw the stat line. Your KD was like top three. That's like that's top four. That's whatever. Which I, was, I know I was, it's not everything. I was, but I was a top five KD in the league. Top five. I just salute. There's well, what I want to say is I feel like nowadays, and I feel like this is just sports culture in general. People form a lot of opinions based on what other people are saying. Yeah. And oh, yeah. once that narrative is set, people just run with yeah, it, and they the don't mind. really like. There's a whole they mini don't. game that you play yeah, like, outside of the actual gameplay. It's so weird because, like, obviously stats are stats, but, like, I saw you get in an argument one day on stream about another player, and, like, your stats were, like, identical, right? Or, like, pretty close yeah. to the same? So I was using – the best example I can give is, like, I'll give 
temp and octane. So when octane was on surge and they wouldn't win, and he was frying, it's like this guy's kill horning. Mm -hmm. Donnie's team goes two and twenty three. It's mm -hmm. free temp, free temp, free temp. It's like you got to be consistent. It's like that's true, yeah. So like with me, it was like a lose lose unless you're winning. I was winning and we were winning and I was frying. Zinni's unreal. We started losing and I'm not playing good. Dog shit. We're losing and I'm going a little bit positive. Kill horning. It's like yeah. 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 What's and to I, give? And that like feeds back into like what I kind of said is like narratives are built and then those narratives don't like they stick to it for like the rest of the year. And that dude, and it's like, like once you get it, you can't get rid of it. It's like no, it's, 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 it's annoying. Impossible. It's it's annoying. Especially for the people. So like. Especially for the people that don't go on shows like The Flank to like give their piece, right? So like say a, a player plays bad in a match <clears throat> and they don't go on The Flank and they don't say like, you know, like this is why I've been playing bad, blah, blah, blah. People are just gonna start making assumptions. And then once those assumptions are, are there, they're set in stone yep. on these on these Reddits and the Twitters and the whatever else these kids are checking and then they, they start believing it. And then it's just like this whole narrative about people being bad. And it could start from one person and then one person believes them and then two people believe them. Then they start throwing shit into it. Yeah, That's it's why you gotta step in front of it and form your own narrative. And just, even if it's not true, just fucking beat that shit into it. It's like, oh, Zing got but shit then you have an head. ego for Then you have an ego for defending yourself. Rather that than people think Dude, you suck. I'm telling you, no. Sometimes defending it feels yourself like, is is excuses, excuses. Yeah, sometimes it feels like there, there's, there's no, winning. no winning, and then yeah. they start throwing shit. Oh, Zin didn't Zin didn't play well today. Reddit comment, someone else. Yeah, and his stream fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get the vouch from someone else. Yeah, that's how that's the way to go I about mean, it. I mean, it goes back. It goes back to what Matt said. Say it. Say it again. What? The what you told me. Oh, don't take. Yeah. Oh, don't take um, criticism from anyone you wouldn't take advice from. Yeah. And I feel like that's, see, like amongst your peers, you're highly respected, but then you go to like the fan bases sometimes and they start disrespecting you, but amongst peers, you're respected for the most part. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, for the most part. And especially as a man AR, there's so like, like man AR, like attached became a main this year. There's one spot gone. So it's like when people are switching roles and it's like, it gets sketchy. Like 12 spots, we need more than 12 teams. Yeah. Different conversation, but it's like, for how long do we have 16 teams? And now it's like, there's no, like, dude, Krim not having a team. Like, there's... I mean, 16. Pe people are starting to get pushed out, and it's just like... 300 deep or something, right? Like 16 pro teams. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, in the you're talking about in the... Yeah, I mean, yeah, even yeah. but even back then with pool play, the pool play had four four teams, or and it, five teams per pool, right? Five teams per yeah, pool because... Yeah, one the, M team per uh, pool. One yeah, M yeah. team. I mean, that's a lot of teams. And then you cut that back, I mean in half now you gotta win yeah. like two matches in the bad, final like everyone <laughs> yeah, the fuck? and you get you see all these kids like scrappy coming up and like people that there's a lot of people myself included that just ne i've never even watched a challenge is that match. the kid that yells at everybody yep yeah, yeah. okay i saw some videos <laughs> he's good he's good and it's just like there's there's people that come out of that that like all of a sudden they're in the league and now they're exposed to a ton of people right. but i mean you know five years ago people would have been watching that guy go through the open bracket and I mean, that's how people like Jordan and uh, E6 got their name. It's like those were the open bracket demons. Like you yeah. knew, you knew you were gonna play Jordan in the in the pool play. Dude, that's where United sucks came is from. Like, yeah, United was literally AM kids. They won an event that year. They came crazy. Up. They literally. Came, I mean, they weren't like AM kids. Like they went to Black Ops Two champs technically, but I would consider RW the breakout year. Who is this? Uh, Pristini, Gunless, uh, oh, okay. Arsides, and Silly. Silly was oh, a pro, yeah. obviously, but and he yeah, had the org. He had the org, and they, he picked them up, and that then was they wanted to win the event. That was yeah, they Pierce might not have a team. It's like how the fuck is that possible? Insane. How like, does Pierce not have a team? It goes back to the narratives things. No, but it's like everybody nowadays. It's like if you get pushed out, it's catastrophic because everyone would rather go with like the uh, the unknown variable. It's like oh, this kid could be a BZ or Seth or. Yeah. It's like, eh, should we give Jordan General a shot or God or X or yeah. someone who's been in the league and was good, but what if this kid's way... It's like, I mean, once you get pushed out, it's like... I mean, cause you, gotta, you gotta look at the, the kids that have come up recently. The Simps, the Beezies, the Shotzies. Pred like, this it year? Seems, yeah, Pred. Yeah. It's Pred just, this it seems year, I mean, more... Pred had an insane year. Like, I can't even... like. He had a nuts year. But those are like a needle in a haystack. Yeah. But that's what you're looking for, right? Yeah, especially that's, if, that's you're, especially exactly. if you're... You know what I'm saying? If you're like Paris Legion, for example, you're kind of looking for those kids right now. It's also scary, though, because like we're losing like the biggest names. Like Krim not having a team, that's one of the biggest personalities. Part of Clay's it. Clay's been tweeting if he doesn't have a team, it's like, at what point, what's more important? Yeah. These young guns who are gonna like really good at the game, or it's like, like I think our esports like a, a mix of like WWE and like professional esport. Yeah. It's like, it, yeah. it, it, like uh, it matters. It like sure. like yeah. Krim's walkout and like having big names, like this shit matters. And we're, we're gonna start losing them, we're all getting older. And it's like, where does it go from there? Like, what do you value? Like, what does, we all want to win, but it's like, can we afford to lose 
all the big names and it's just like new guys because now you can't blow up like you blew up like simp i'll use him as an example if he did everything you did he would have a fraction of the success because eyes are just elsewhere now no they're one's looking at multiplayer cod like they used to they're also two very different people seth and simp no but what i'm saying is let's say you know what nah, i mean he, I, I, i'm what i'm saying is eyes context. are elsewhere now so like back when call of duty multiplayer was yeah, popping I mean, and we all blew up and everything was peaches and cream it was like the perfect storm. Now it's like oh, it was even the, it was even, the perfect storm. even if you do everything, it's so hard to reach like that that pop up. That can I be replicated like. in other games at this point, but in Call of Duty, I don't think you could do what we did again. Like what I don't think we you couldn't do that again. Like 60, 50, 12, 35. Oh, like that was like because it was all it new and fresh. Like that yeah. was yeah. the like first time people were other seeing viral it. YouTube video, and then from those people to jump on right. the new wave. Like, you gotta like hit trending. What like that feud? It would have to be the like feudives kid. To, like I'm trying to think of how many people like have blown up in modern or in multiplayer COD. I can only think of a few. And that the, there's a one kid. His name's Feudives. He dropped a nuke in in uh, Search and Destroy in pubs, and then he hit trending and boom, now every video is like 200, 300K. Recently? Yeah, I mean, he's two, playing, two he's playing pubs? Ago, he's playing pubs. So you can do it in pubs, which is like how they blew up. Was well, I mean, you're, you're thinking about Warzone too, right? Because that's like Warzone kind of like the well, new yeah. pubs. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, so, and there's a lot of people that are blown up from Warzone. So, oh yeah, that's possible. I, you know I'm what I'm saying? So that's possible. Possible. It's still yeah. Call of Duty. But, but there's like, we gotta like, the CDL needs to like reach that, you know what I'm saying? Like the game yeah. needs to be good. There needs to be like integration. Like there has to be like another perfect storm for these new kids to blow up. That yeah. way people want to come back and keep watching. Right. So like people want to watch competitive competition, but it's like personality and the competition, like seeing scrappy yellow kids or having the storyline of, of whoever it may be, like that brings people in. Well, I think to your point, if, if the games aren't good, which, I mean, I'm not going to lie, like, the past couple years of COD, like, the games definitely haven't lived up to, like, the golden years of Call of Duty, and I don't think anyone's going to argue that. But, like, if the games aren't good and orgs aren't pushing, like, the personalities and stuff, the game's just going to fizzle out because nobody's going to be playing the game. No one's going to want to watch the game besides, like, the die-hard Call of Duty right. competitive people, yeah. which there definitely still is a community for. Like, for sure. Even for some of the, like, I guess less hype matches this year, like, there were still 15,000 viewers, you know? Like, but that's going to like fizzle out. I feel like if the personalities don't come or like the CDL doesn't try to integrate like cool skins or like cool ideas with league play, like that's a different conversation. I, I mean, mean, yeah, but like, it's to your point though, where like if the personalities start yeah. retiring, which they're gonna, it's inevitable ages, you can't escape father time. Yeah. You know, <laughs> there has to be other ways to get people interested, which is either content or the game being cool. It's the or game, dude. Them integrating cool things into the game. Have you ever played like, the new game? Uh, like content, I have. Yeah, well, even I have. if the pros game's fired, have. it's not gonna. I'm not sure what exactly I can say. Like blow up. Say. Yeah. Dude, it all well, comes there's out. A, the game. There's a reveal event in like a week or two. Oh, so okay. like that's when we can multiplayer all... reveal. Well, this video will probably be out after yeah. that reveal. No, this is. I have no idea. But either way, yeah. there's like a MW2 like reveal event that they're all gonna that we're all gonna do. I don't know, man. It cannot like, be another one of these cards that they've been coming out. I was gonna say the yeah, fact that it's two but years. Even if it is, like we need like you need to integrate players. Like Valorant, it's like. I, I, I never played it once in my life, but people just rave about how good their rank system is. It's, it's incredible. And it's like, if They're you're right, playing yeah. ranked, you're gonna wanna watch the best players in the world because you want to rank up. You can, you Whereas can click. Whereas our system is just not like that. No, you can literally click a button and it says, uh, in the game, and it's those are the best players in the world. Yeah. Literally, you click the button, it says, send Shazam, number one and in the world. And it's actually the best players? It's the leader. Like, well, it's, it's the leader. It's the, it, it, and that ranked system, yeah. you can see who is the best ranked player in the world. Yeah. Now, that's that's separate from BCT and stuff. But you could do that. As far as, people strive for that, though. People yeah, want that. People, people love that. that. You could do that this year, right? But it was like ladders. It wasn't like an overall yeah. leaderboard. What I'm saying no, is like, our eSport? There was no. Oh, until the top 50 came out, I guess. The top 250? Yeah, top 250. But like you get you this couldn't really, see that before, right? you get yeah, this no. really dope. You can only see your ladder. You get this like really dope emblem, and there's this really cool like transition as soon as you rank up, and people yeah. people strive for that, that moment. That with moment with the COD between... drama, and it's like another perfect storm. Yeah, because dude, look at drama is like our esport. Like Zoom is getting much, the 20k yeah. viewers when there's yeah. a roster change announced. Like people yeah. beefing, talking shit, uh, revealing behind the scenes team info. That's what people want to hear, and it's like if you pair that with like that stuff, the in game stuff, and like people wanting to play, that's a perfect storm exactly. that that's can what, start bringing people yeah. to the next that's level. That's what Black Ops 2, I think, I, I personally think we're still striving for what we had in Black Ops 2. I, yeah. I don't think anybody's gonna 
disagree, but it's I mean, so frustrating, you got to think dude. about that perfect storm, the aches push, and then the the, uh, the kill a choo choo train. All of that, all of that shit was happening, and then also the game was just yeah, good. The there was yeah. a masters. Everyone's trying to grind for masters prestige and, or masters rank and and stuff like that. But like, it, it not it wasn't the perfect rank system, but it was something. Didn't they make it to like, like champs teams that of that event? Like you could qualify for champs through rank yep. play. Through yep. rank, that's like pretty insane. Yeah, like, yeah. that'll for a like million never dollars be seen again. Like, even if those guys show up to the event and get destroyed, it's still the fact that they were able it's to still get cool there. To watch like, them. Yeah. think about how many people were playing that just so they could have the chance to come compete. Yeah, yeah. so many. That's like that's insane. So many. There are things that that's can be done that hopefully that. will start being crazy. done, but it's like. At what point is it going to be too late? That's my biggest worry. At what point is it like? I feel like in two years it might be too late. Like I feel past. like this next game really is like. Imagine there was a second year of Vanguard. Yeah. How many people would want to watch? Let's let's say okay. Crim's done. Let's say Clay's I mean, I done. Play. Let's yeah. say he's not here for much longer. It's <laughs> I like, wouldn't play. If it was another year of Vanguard, I would be. Yeah. 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 Nobody would watch. Nobody would play. So if the next game is bad, and then you got to go for a second year of that, dude. I mean, speaking about the, old, the the golden days, there's been a little bit of drama that's happening, which we won't talk about, but uh, Nade kind of comes out and talks about how it was back in the day in 6050. And like y'all were stacked, I think the, the quote is stacked five heads deep. In the master bedroom. In a master bedroom, that's 12 hours a day uploading YouTube video. You wake up, you do it again. Yeah. What was that? What were those times like? Because all four of you guys, I mean, and we'll talk about the blacklist later, but Fuck you. <laughs> what was that like from you guys' perspective, especially you being like a raw competitor and then coming in to that realm? Like, what was that from from your point of view? I mean, I, I don't think I had even close to the amount of hours put in like these guys were doing at the house. Yeah. Like I was I was more so just like there to help bring championships. That was like what I came to Hector and told him and told the guys like, I just want to win. Like I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, going to the content right. a little bit. But like, I just want to, I want to win a lot. So I, I don't think my, my like content journey was even close to the same as theirs. So I think they'd give a much better answer. Yeah. It was a grind. It was a grind. I was waking up at 6 a.m. to get on before Matt. <laughs> yeah, you guys had a little rivalry like, going. You can't make that yeah. shit up. Like he'd wake up at seven, I'd wake up at 645. And like, we would like but think to about get how... on first. Cause whoever got on first would like, Get more viewership. Yeah, and stay. And stay, cause like on Twitch back in the day, like once you got more viewership, it stay. That was it. And you and we and we were living off ads. This was before gifted subs. <laughs> no sub this, button. We're, we're, there was no sub button, right? No, so no. we were living off the ads. We were there were no subs. Yeah. So like if you had more viewers, you'd get more money from the ads. And this was the difference between like maybe two three hundred dollars a day that we would be fighting for to wake up that extra ten minutes earlier. I mean, it was just crazy. Yeah. It's actually surreal to think like. Me and him were going to like NJ Halo locals, playing for a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. Now a rookie in the league's making 200k a year plus. That's why I Literally. said when people and it's compare... like the entitlement compared. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there's no like, there's no. It's, there's it's, no it's a different time. That's why I said... back then we were playing for just fucking passion, passion and love for the game. Yeah, we didn't know it was gonna. We didn't know we were gonna fill stadiums and millions of dollars would be poured in. We were playing because we loved it. Yeah. yeah. Now it's like, you're an 18 year old kid. You're making 200k uh, a year. You're probably sitting there like. What else do I got to do? It was not like that back then. You were you were grinding for every penny. Yeah, I'm trying to convince my parents back then to let me like pursue ahead, it, and they're yeah. like, "What the fuck are you talking yeah, about?" Yeah. My dad works four jobs. Like owns different like a landscaping company, a bar and liquor store. He sells lumber. Different was up six a.m. every day. Like set like selling newspapers. Different mentality. Me, I'm waking up at one p.m. rolling out, eating McDonald's. <laughs> I got four chins. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm quitting all my sports. And he's like, what's going on here? And then thank God he talked to like Nate and, and you a little bit. And he was like, go ahead. And thank God it turned into this. Yeah. People always talk about the like the rivalry between you, the uh, brotherly rivalry between you and Nate. But what was it like from you guys' perspective? Like, because it from, I mean, living in that house, you got to think, well, you know, those two are going at it. Yeah. But like, what is it like from? Well, I, w I came we were going when <laughs> Seth was already moved back to Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. So it was me and Nate. And then Clay came for a little bit. I don't think, I'm not sure if Seth came to the house. I don't remember. I don't but, think I came back for a while. Yeah, it was a long I time. I did come back, though, before 1235. I did come back. Like, was that leaving for Envy? Is that huh? you left for Envy? Yeah. In the middle of the night, you just packed your shit up and left? Like 2 a.m. You're one spiteful prick for that. Oh, I was so mad. You gotta to pack your shit up at 2 a.m. and we leave it out. We just got top 16. Yeah, like, so I was be, so, or did it gonna be a real spiteful douche. Wait, you weren't on the team yet. We just got like top. It was me, Ricky. You were on the team. Me, you, Ricky, and Matt, right? 
Yeah. It was Philly. Philly. It was Philly. UMG Philly. When oh, I yeah, 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 yeah. I was so mad. Dude, there was a snowstorm there, too. Yeah, there was literally ice on the driveway. I was out there for two hours. Chiseling, chiseling the ice so I could drive 12 hours to go home. That's how mad I was. Did you I retire? You were back in like I two retired weeks, you. Though. Yeah. Your last match was a loss to me. Was it? Yeah. You, you, wow, after geez. Philly, you retired, didn't you? That's yeah. A, that's just yeah. weird. Weird to bring that's up. That's so weird. Important is, it's, it, this is, <laughs> it's important it's, concept. It's like you, Miyagi, it's, it's good and Tatch, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. You were right? cool. What, the, uh, the face team, I think it was. Me replays. I thought there was like Miyagi and shit. Like no. No. We did play that. I remember seeing that name. We won 3-2 last map, I remember. Oh, was, oh no! Uh, that you mean the winners? They lost the losers to like. Yeah, they lost the losers to. Are attach. you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Attach, yeah. I was my it was my first event. I'm more hot. Who is it? Me replays Cap and Classic. I was huge. I remember thinking that was Classic's I had first a event. Out of the right? Or no, second. We played you guys in winners, right? Didn't we? Yeah, smack that ass. Did we get reverse web? Yeah, sure I don't know. Sure. I'm pretty sure we got I had, swept. I had danger close with two nades on. I'm just naded in B, two nades, getting cheese kills. So nice. Nothing better than a nade kill. Different time. But regardless, what, yeah, what was, was it like? Yeah, I was checked out at that point. What, um, what was it, like? it was, it was good. It was good for us. Like we look back on it, and like at the time, y'all. Time wasn't good. It was not good at the time, but like iron really does sharpen iron, and y'all needed, and especially for me, like watching y'all do that. I don't know where I grew up. People really like we didn't even think about money or like opportunities, and I feel like watching them go at it every day. It was such a weird thing where I think I mean it was you and Hector and Matt like we saw this opportunity and it was such a small door where we got in and like got those viewers and saw that like first thousand dollar day on Twitch and it was like holy fuck like from that point forward it was pedal to the metal like we were gonna bust through the door no matter what <laughs> and it was 12 hours a day like five videos a day i didn't give a fuck like i don't care how old i am like i'm gonna pump my 20s don't give a fuck i'm just head down not going out and i'm just working forever and that like i don't know it really shaped i don't know who i am today so i don't know it instilled a lot of like hard work and it is weird to see going back to what you're talking about with the the drama situation yeah. with with Matt and Frosty. I think some people. It's not even a bad thing if you don't if you don't want it. Like, I hate to sound cliche, but like, there's some people who want it bad, and there's some people who kind of want it. We really fucking wanted it because there was nothing else. And some people just probably don't. So to like, I don't know, to expect that you're gonna join an org and like, you know, the salary that you're gonna get is salary. what you're gonna make, dude. I didn't care. To this day, candidly, my salary has never been more than like $40,000 a year from Optic. Yeah. But I don't care because the platform that Optic yeah. gave me, you're missing the forest for the trees. There are millions <laughs> it's right to there be made on the other side, but you yes. got to go get it. It's the platform yeah. that allows you to do that. But at the same time, like, I don't know. A lot of people are coming out now and they're like, who struggled more? I slipped on an air That's mattress. True. I <laughs> ate shit. shit. And it's like, it shouldn't be that. It should like develop to the point where people are, you know, able to live. But at the same time, like just fucking put your head down and just, just go. Do it. I mean, even nowadays, like I compete and I, I don't make nearly as much content as I used to. And I understand that. But I feel like genuinely bad when I'm not doing both. Which is kind oh, yeah. of insane, because if you're not working yourself to the bone, that's what I'm you saying. Like weird. that, the, that mentality from that house has stuck with me till now, and I genuinely Same. feel I take a month off stream, yeah. and I feel like I'm letting all of those people down. Yeah, but I'm still competing on top of that. So right. it's like, and then if we're not winning in while we're competing, like if we're having a bad year, like especially like a year like this year where our teammate was injured all year, like it's so hard mentally. It's 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 insane. Just because I like, I feel like I'm never doing enough. Yeah, I was talking to Hex about it on the eavesdrop. I felt like ever since then, and like those moments, I've lived my life like thinking about the future and working for the future. And I'm like 95% in my head thinking about the future and just let the real world kind of go by. And I'm always living there and I'm trying to like bust out of that feeling. I can't. And come like at least come back to 50 50 can't. Can't and live in the moment. Cause like life is now i like live with guilt every, every day. day like yeah. every day that i don't stream i live with guilt and that's I'm what like, i'm saying i'm like i should have streamed i should be streaming and why am i not spin, streaming and i, I turn just around stream seven hours and i'm like i gotta hop on for four hours for no, a stream it's actually awful yeah and Especially you're like, like what 26 27 27 I'm, yeah I'm and it's 31. become 
so much harder. Like the energy levels that I had then compared to now, I mean, it's not even. But think about how much time can go by. You keep that same mentality until you're 40, 50. And it's like, holy fuck, I might've just lived half my life. And I've just been sitting in front of the computer thinking about making more money. And it's like, dude. But it's so hard. I don't know how to actually like break it. (laughs) It's hard. It's like, (laughs) but it's so. I'm sure you feel that way too. I mean, you're right there. Competing still, he's right there competing still, oh, and also I, trying to produce content. But it's so time. stressful though. It is because it's like I can lose my, like this off season proved like it's not guaranteed. I can lose that tomorrow. I need to grind the stream because I need that to work. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't have a degree. None of us have. What do we? This this is our life. So it's yeah. like that's the thing. Once you get so far, there's no going back. It's, yeah, this, con- yeah, it's yeah. this constant stress, and it's like it's like constant anxiety yeah. all the time. And it's like especially with Twitch, like I actually hate talking about this because. I hate people's counter argument. It's like try working construction. I get that. P- people work hard in different avenues, but it's like Twitch, it's like you take one or two weeks off, you are stressed the entire fucking time. Oh, yeah. You I'm lose s- your subs. People are, where are you? People are, you, you're not streaming part-time streamer. It's stressful, dude. And yeah. But you're a comp- but, you're you're a competitive player, and you still think like that. That no, is the insane but, part. Like you, we're so- Look at other esports. think we're so Nobody entitled does for talking that shit. about it like that because it's like, I work this, I work this, I deliver pizza. And it's like, I respect anybody who's working for a dollar. That does not mean my dream job does not have its stresses and it's like, it's downsides. But everybody just sees, oh, you're making money, you have this platform, 100% blessing to be, but it's not like I just fucking woke up and it spawned in. Like, I feel like you're seeing- Since we're 15, we've been doing this, 14, how long? We're all of us here over a decade involved. I feel like you're seeing, uh, I'm sorry to cut you off, but I just wanna, I feel like you're seeing like that grind mentality in a lot more esports now, though, like Valorant, like there's Valorant players that are probably making so much more off their stream than their player salary. And then it's like, when do you make that decision? Like, which one would I rather do? I mean, you know it's, a, it's a love verse thing. I mean, I'm not gonna. If I wanted to make more money, I probably would have retired the last year. Same. I had like 11. I, mean, I had like 11k subs. I had content offers. If I wanted to make money, but it's like, dude, it's like an identity thing. Like I, I struggle to even think about like not being a pro COD player. Same. It's like what I've, what I've so always been. Like I'm a pro COD player. Yeah. And it's like as soon as I worry that like the dopamine and like the adrenaline you get from doing that, I'm not sure if I can ever get that again. Because it's like unless you're like a pro athlete. I mean, I'll you teach you how to trade stocks. There's no way. There's, well. there's nothing that I'm going to do in my life that's going to be as like blood pumping as that. And it's such a fucking Coming scary. Coming out on stage. It's such a scary thought. It's like, yeah. it's like the money is one thing. How much money... You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what's really gonna? I don't know. It's such a scary thought, though. It's like saying goodbye. Like, I can't even. It's all you've known. I look at these pros who have like aren't a thing, and like some people just disappear, dude. I'm looking at like people like Spacely, and it's like we grew up with these guys. I haven't talked to Mike in how long? I, t- I mean, I talked to Mike. I know Mike. Yeah, but yeah. So but I'm, like, I'm, I'm like different examples. Everybody, Stainville, all the OG names. Like, yeah. very few actually stuck around, and it's like scary. Yeah, Luckily, that shit is scary. I've built Part something of that where is it's like scary, but at the same safer, time, but... like as someone who's pretty much quit the internet at this point, yeah, I feel like you see people like that and you think like, oh, they disappeared. Like that's not even a human anymore. Like they're not on Twitter. Like I don't even see it. But at the same time, like since I stopped caring as much, I have never been happier. Yeah, like it because you're not you're not in that cycle of like I'm not doing anything. I'm I'm yes. stressed. Like yes, you're and not in that cycle anymore. Right, this is a different so topic, it's... but. I think social media just like it conditions you to like it's terrible to stay relevant and like yeah. you, you yeah. need growth it's like if you're not getting more viewers and more followers you're doing something wrong yeah and it's like this constant worry of like i mean a, a, a saying now is you fell off ratio like that's like funny to people <laughs> like you know what i'm saying but i feel like social media i mean this might be toxic of me to say but i feel like social media back then was way less toxic than now. Now oh, social yeah, media sure. is, it's very toxic. I mean, and I only really use Twitter, so that's all that I can go off of, but yeah. like Twitter is way more toxic nowadays than it used yeah. to be. If I lose a match or whatever, I'm in the verified only tab. Like I'm not reading that shit. Like yeah. it's just not even, the Call of Duty Reddit has, I go on that. I don't, I don't know wanna, why I'm you like, even go on that. No, I, I've, I retired from it. And then the other day someone was like, there's a post about you and I went and read it. And I was like, why did I read it? Yeah, right. Those people fucking hate me. Is it for bad? no reason. For no, they hate for me. Zero reason. I mean, why do whatever. they hate you? Who knows? But like, it's so toxic nowadays. Like, I feel like. I mean, do you guys agree? I feel like it's. Yeah. No, it's you get to a point of success where everybody's rooting you on for success. When you reach there, and then everyone likes you, then 
then they come. <laughs> the others come. The others. That's what it seems like. You know what I mean? It seems yeah. like like people will uh, will love you on your ascension, but once you get there, once you hit the peak, then they will nitpick every every single like downfall or you know things that even you, like even things that you might be self conscious of. It's just like, dude. Whoa. Wow, and and then you start overthinking it. Like I, I do that shit all the time. Like my laugh is obnoxious, or I'm too extra. Like I, I think about that shit. See, but it's it's time. weird because when I turn on my stream, it's so less toxic. Like that's everyone that's in the stream is vibey yeah, that's for the most core. part. There's definitely like some people that are still toxic as fuck. Yeah, but the stream is so vibey. But then like you go on Twitter and it's like, it's 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 not always bad. By the way, yeah, let me yeah. let me say that it's not always it's not always toxic but well, like most during that. the season like if we're <laughs> having a rough patch it's or if you as a player are having a rough patch oh no, but drop like, him drop him for no, this kid like, yeah but like you I don't want 30 chips that dude <laughs> this fucks with me because like you don't think i'm already fucked up enough from like me not playing well or my team not playing well yeah. oh, for sure. and, then, and then to read negative comments about me listen i have some pretty thick skin no one wants to read that. it doesn't matter how thick your skin no one is. wants to read no one wants uh, to read that Zin's horrible and he's yeah. fat as fuck. It's like you can read a hundred good comments and the one that's the one gets not you. good, that's the one that you the, pay attention to. The one to. gets you. Well, because the narrator in your head's already telling you, like, you had a shit series. Yeah. Like, yeah. and then you go on and someone <laughs> and someone like, confirms really it and did. you're like, fuck, like I know, man. Like it's, <laughs> you know, it's like and then the group chat's dry and you're like, No. Yeah. <laughs> They're doing it. Insights coming in. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no. It's the just stressful. Chat. I mean, people really don't understand how stressful it is yeah. Pretty stressful. if i had to it's go stressful. back and i mean and matt's considered like one of the coolest people on the internet like everyone looks at matt and they're like i'd love to hang out with matt right and like you still get hate yeah a lot of them, I got a couple fat fucks huh you got a couple fat fucks every now and then but you actually get hate i'm like thanks for joining the stream it was great but, like matt is like <laughs> everyone looks at matt and like People like I've seen people come up to Matt and be like, "Dude, you're the coolest. I watch your stream all the time. You're so like chill, vibey." But like, there's still people like, you know, it's just like, yeah. I don't know, it's toxic. I think that was a compliment. Thanks. No, like, it, it's definitely the, a compliment. Touch on the grind thing though, like especially now, more than ever, everybody's doing it now. Back then, that's true. Like yeah. now, like you have to put the extra, like the extra mile in because now. So many people are trying to do it. I, I'm, I'm sure there's the most streamers there's ever been, YouTubers, oh, it's way TikTokers. Harder now. Everybody's trying to do it. So you have to put the extra hours in and it's like, if you do do it, granted, not everybody's gonna reach, there are certain levels that are just like, Tatman, Nick Merckx, yeah. you, like, you can grind all day and there's there's some luck, there's some timing involved. It's not, po not everybody can be that big. Well, you have to try if you wanna be. And then it's like, I don't know, people are just, it's just I mean, different you just, now. Did you say Tim, the ta Tim, Nick, and then me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, different yeah. universe, you know you, <laughs> different, you, different realm. I don't think so. I think you. you I don't really, think so. You're close, you really bro. fucking. I'm not I'm, close. No, no, if you 100 no. went when after content, content, yeah, content but like you could say if I did, yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. not there right now. If I did, I mean, my bad then, for the gas. I mean, I'll take the gas. Thank you. But, I think so. Nick's okay, got thank like you 60, as well. 60 k subs. I think. think so. Nick's Nick's got sixty thousand. Okay, think about, like, that's a lot. think about all those names that I said. You can join a lobby with them with one message. I mean, yeah, like they're my then, friends, but like, no, but like, that's not you the, are the top zero 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 one percent. That's what I mean. Yeah, you can say that if you're talking about like a competition standpoint. No, th shut up. Listen, Just either way, compliment. everybody's everybody's trying to do it, so you have to take the extra step. And if you do like put your head down and sacrifice sleep and whatever for like a few years, it could set you up for life. Like, look at Jack, dude. Like Jack was YouTube, I think, I think like 450 days straight or something. No, yep. Jack's killing Upload it still. Upload every day, Jack's he's killing, killing it still. But like, I remember when he first stepped back from casting. That had to be so scary for him. Oh yeah. He's so like, that had to he been walked horrifying. into the pro lounge one day. I'm still wearing a Rise jersey. He's like, today's my last day. We're like, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, I'm joining Optic full-time content. We're all like, and Jack's a good size, but like nowhere near what he's reaching. It's oh, like. Yeah. What he streamed like twelve hours minimum every single day. Every yeah. single day. Upload every single day. Didn't miss one. And yeah. it's like, like I said, not yeah, everybody's gonna reach that level, but like, he's an example of if you do do it, you can create something for the rest of your life. And you have to. Yes, there is luck involved, but like I've always said that the luck comes in. It, it, it comes in like open doors, and you just have to be prepared yeah. for the luck. Because yeah. the luck—it's the recognition the of that door. Happen. A lot of people don't right. even recognize the opportunity. But right. if when you see it a couple of times. 
and you're like, oh, that's what that is. And you're ready for it, the fourth or fifth time. It's like what I was talking about with us. Like, you get that wiggle yeah. room, and you got to fucking go in there and right. capture it. It's and the like, people that recognize that and do it that actually ascend to yeah. and then stay on top because you can't get in the door there's people that have gotten in the door and then they let yep. their foot off the gas yeah. and then i saw gone. a tweet from phase heist i'm not sure if you guys know the name yeah i've heard of it Gar yeah. garrett yeah, yeah. heist black ops 2 is a good competitive play he was a sniper yeah he was on phase when phase was like the inception of phase everyone's blowing up he tweeted the other day he's like i pissed away that lottery ticket yep. and it's like he didn't he didn't see it at the time, and now I guarantee you he wakes. He works construction now. Yeah. I know for a fact he wakes up every single day like fuck. Yeah, for sure. If I just recognized it and just did something, like it could all be so different. And yeah, like Jack saw. I think Jack saw what was happening with Fortnite, and he, he because it was it was just started turning. He's like, I'm doing this every day. And that takes and balls, then, dude. You know, he no, he, takes, he does get takes he gets a little a little bit of a platform. I mean, it was a rough time in Optic, but he joins Optic at a at a good time and then streams every single day and then then he gets that mr beast uh like donation and then he gets that ninja host and that's the, that's his opportunity and he's never and stopped to never this day. never stopped yeah. a lot of people get that opportunity and they're like oh my god they get off right they, they just got a fifty thousand dollar donation from mr beast and they're like that was it made like, it that, that, <laughs> i made it you know what <laughs> i mean but nah jack Bam. Ever that since was the then. start of that his journey. That was the journey. start. Yeah. That, was the, that was the platform he needed and look at him now. Yep. I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, inner circle so far. Keep in mind, this episode is brought to you by Scuff. Go check out the new green wall controllers. I mean, look at it. It's got Wallace on the side, the green wall uh, text up top. It looks, it looks beautiful. And I love the PS5 controllers. So go check it out. Link will be in the description. Uh, it's scuffgaming.com. I've, I've known a lot of people that's gotten on Hector's bad side, uh, since working in esports, but I've never seen anybody come out the other end of it where they get on his bad side and then they get on his good side again. It's only happened. I think it's only happened once. So I think we need to talk about the blacklist. <laughs> For those that don't know, so there was a, there was a, <laughs> somebody else explain it. You explain it. All right. <clears throat> Optic Blacklist back in Ghost was essentially a bunch of pro teams refusing to scrim Optic because all right, let me start from the top. Yeah, this was Ghost though, not because I don't remember being a, this on was the Ghost. team when this happened. This okay. was Ghost. So I was already I was out. So uh, it all started because Optic had like a monopoly on viewers. Like everybody's watching Optic, whatever you guys are grinding, but people wanted viewers. So it started off as like, yo. When you get off stream, start sending them to each other. Start, let's give follow fives. Like, let's grow each other. And then people came in. I'm not gonna name names, whatever. Actually, fuck it. Aches, whatever. <laughs> and, and Pat's coming in. Of course, Pat's pa first. Pat's yeah. coming in, and they're like, "Yo, let's just not scrim optic." <laughs> and let me give you a little background. I'm on Curse Youth at the time. We switched from 360 to Xbox One, and my team didn't get Xbox One yet because there was no reason to. We were like too young, so I could not physically blacklist optic even if i wanted to but anyways um i'm essentially like i would say the golden child like i'm playing with you and nate every day i'm like under the wing people are calling me like the next nade shot <laughs> and uh no bullshit like, <laughs> like no what's funny about that people were calling you the next nade shot yeah like literally like no like <laughs> that's what's me. funny about it <laughs> dude, people were like like message like my close people were like dude like you can be, like the next nade shot it's not like I was like publicly titled the next name. Oh, okay, I was saying okay. like, okay, that, okay. People close to me were like, dude, like, like if you, you, keep you, ha up, you have the opportunity yeah, to be opportunity. just like that. Right. That's obviously the goal. I mean, we all want to reach that pinnacle of success. So it switched from let's start sending each other viewers and shit to let's not scrim optic. Let's start deleting them off the friends list. So there's a big Skype chat. Deleted y'all off the friends list? They can't no, even see our names and that, shit. That, that, <laughs> that, that when they're out. going through the list, they see us on stream. No, that's clout. Yeah. They can't no. do that. They uh That's insane. You no, were deleting no. us off your friends no. list? No. That's pretty nice. So people start agreeing not to scrim them. And I'm in my weed phase. I'm in my little 16-year-old pothead phase. And I'm just sitting there giggling on Skype. I I don't really remember it, but I know for a fact I was sitting there high as balls, just buttered. I was buttered. <laughs> and I said, I said one quote, it was the fall of optic or the something like that. The fall of optic. The I was, I was fucking thing, around yeah. and that was like, whatever. And then they started like, Yo, you weren't fucking around though. Yes, I was. 
Why would I ever betray? It didn't make the sense. The downfall of optic. It was the fucking around optic. unless it started working, and then it no. would have got serious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Holy fuck, they're really falling off." Let's go. I was with you guys. It wouldn't make sense. Like it, it doesn't logically. I mean, I was dumb, but I wasn't that fucking dumb. Um, it sounds like you were that fucking dumb, dude. <laughs> listen, the downfall I could of not. Optic, you were not. Listen, joking. the okay, convers. Okay. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The conversation turns to like, let's start deleting them. Don't tweet them. And that's when I start. I'm like, hold on, like, we're not doing this. Blah blah blah. But he walks up to my my Skype username is Zeus, so it wasn't Methods. He walks up to Nate is live. He oh, he oh, leaves oh. the Skype chat, or you get kicked out. Then someone adds you back, and you were able to see all the old messages while you weren't in there. Yeah. And you yeah, walk yeah. up to Nate on stream. I'm watching live. My ass, my 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 heart sunk to my asshole. I've never been. <laughs> you walk up, and the only person that anybody cared about in the whole thing was me. Everybody, I think you were in their blacklist, and I swear yeah. to God, I'm, he may have been. No, I know, <laughs> I know for a you fact. I know for there. a fact he was in their blacklist. You were an asshole. No, no, ghost. he was in there. Yeah. You were an I asshole. I know for a ghost. fact. You know what he said to me the first time weird. we ever, the yeah, first time I ever no, met him. Said something to me too. You go first. He, we walk up to you each other there. at the back of chance, and he goes, "I heard you." Go to, I heard you. We've told this so many times. They heard it. Well, now's your time. No, so okay, that's all. I was gotta hold that one over your head because you insane. know you are formal. So, <laughs> so apparently you said that to us because th that's like my story too. <laughs> really? I mean, we were probably all back there. It was backstage. We were probably getting ready to play, so we were all in a circle or some shit. That's good though. I takes balls. You came over to our circle and you were like, we "Heard you wanted to play us." Yeah, I got three of them. <laughs> that takes balls though. I respect that. I respect that. It was a mistake. Right. But so I walk. You walk up to Nate and you're like, "Guess who that is?" And Nate's like, "Who?" And you're like, methods. And he just goes blood red. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And it just like, ever since then, it was like. So you had been playing with him at this time. Yeah, I mean, like. Like casually, for yeah. content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like okay. every day. I think I was playing with you. Like one of one of his highest viewed videos is like us versus FaZe. It's like me, you, him, and Joe. Like we were playing together like every day. I met you through him, I think. And then I think I met Nate first, then Hector, then you. But I was, I was put on, basically. Like. Me betraying them was different than everybody else. Right. So obviously, Nate was fuming. Hector was fuming. You forgave me pretty quick. But uh, I mean, ever since then, like me and Nate's relationship is, I mean. And plus, you were like, how old? What? You were, you were 16. Yeah. I, was, I was 15, 16. And the weirdest thing was, I remember I talked to Hector. I was shitting my pants. <laughs> I waddle up to him. I'm huge. <laughs> I waddle up to him. I think we're in Nashville. No, we're in Orlando. And I apologized in person because I've tried sending messages, but I was like, I'm gonna go talk to him in person. I was so intimidated because it's so Hector's weird, dude. Like when you're cool with him, he's you know him, but like I was terrified. And it, he was, I think he was drunk, and he looks at me, he goes, "We're gonna forgive you because you're you. Come back to me in six months." He gave me a fist bump. He didn't talk to me for four years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he didn't talk to me for four years. He goes, "Come back to me in six months." For what? Like didn't what? talk just to like join? no like no like we're gonna forgive you like because oh. you're you will forgive you like whatever oh, like six months is like yeah. your period that yeah. we're mad at you and it was <laughs> weird to be reported. yeah <laughs> yeah and what's weird is you guys are all getting bigger so i'm overthinking it now like how do i apologize because in my head i'm like this it, it looks so in, disingenuous or ingenuine yeah. if i'm reaching out to these guys who are like getting well, even yeah. bigger than they were and i'm like if i'm them maybe i'm thinking this kid is trying to you know what i'm saying so yeah. it was such a weird situation but like Nate was the one who talked to my dad at Codzilla in Philly, who like really let me go all in, because like I said, different times, diff this wasn't what it what it was. And Nate oh, he was like, like convinced your dad Nate, about the Nate whole deal. Nate, because it was me, you, Beale Fire, and Nate, and we won that Philly thing. And Nate's like, he's the guy. He's sponsored by Red Bull. He's actually making money. He talks to my dad, and he's like, your son like has a career here. And ever since then, my dad and my whole family's been like all on board. Nice. So like. My parents have a different level of respect for like him and, and you guys because like literally you kind of changed my life because his words were like what they needed for right. to let me go all in. So it was weird because that one like I don't know I don't want to sound corny but like I mean to genuinely hurt your friends and like not mean it at all yeah and try to apologize it's it was such a weird thing like it was genuinely like yeah I I never meant to like hurt my fucking friends. I anyway. didn't blacklist you though. What? I didn't like say fuck you. No, you guys forget. He forgave me. You know how dumb I was. You forgave me quick because you are you're as dumb as me. So you were like, this kid's fucking stupid. <laughs> you forgave me. You forgave me. Clay forgave me. I think Clay was on at the time. But Nate and Hector were like, 
Yeah, and they, it was it I was mean, different that's, with that's, them. That's like the and those were like those are the two guys that it's hard. Like yeah, once I, you once you get on their bad side, yeah, you gotta really earn that shit back. Like me and Ned are. I mean, we're obviously not close like we used to be, but like totally cool. Like yeah. jokes around about it and whatnot. We're playing with Kyler Murray and Devin Booker one day. He invites me. Warzone. He's like, yeah, this guy blacklisted me. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Talking to K1 and T-Book. Nate still I'm, heard about it. Yeah, he's yeah, he's still bringing it up. He's like, still thinking about it. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, that was not a happy time. And the YouTube comments, fuck, they were ruthless back then. Mm. You fat fuck, how dare you? <laughs> Defy your king and Nate and Hector. <laughs> <laughs> you waddling bitch. They were going nuts. I couldn't do anything. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, I smoked myself into oblivion. Hot box in the Accord. But now you're good. Yeah, thank God. I don't even remember that period. I really don't. If that, I mean, if that can't, it must not have affected anything. I think that it all came out that the Skype conversation got leaked, and then everybody was like, "Yo, look at what's happening to Zen." That's when people started using Teamspeak. Yeah, is, is that what back then? Is that, is that what happened, dude? Skype was just so insecure. Like it, it was not secure at all. You get your IP, you get hit offline. You're playing S and D. Remember uh, when we would stream like? We'd oh, always get hit, hit off. off. Yeah, we get hit wait, off that, all the time. Was that when I was yeah, on? Because like, on Xbox 360, you could pull someone's IP through the lobby. Like they would just do it to one of us each game. Like it would just be a different. Yeah, everyone. We, we would just get hit off. That's when they had the killers after us, though. We that had was like miserable. Clerk, that was yeah. Lizard yeah. Squad. Like, <laughs> the Lizard Squad. That was like Lizard Squad. They didn't that fuck was around. Like that you gotta period, be fucked bro. up to ruin Christmas. Trojan. Yeah, that fucking guy, bro. That was, dude. I, those guys were so annoying. Is there like a click like that? Yeah, there was like days, a group or? of them, and they just like hated us. Yeah. Well, they these days, us. these days things are a little more secure. But even then, like, dude, they used to. I used to be in a closed Xbox Live party, and they join. I'd be like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, yo, they. How do you get in? Were mind blowing. How did, it's yo, just like? Remember when you made me? You made me prank call the FBI one day. You remember that? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> dude. That, I, Xbox Live Party. Me and him were like playing dubs. I think we we're streaming or whatever. Oh, doing the voice. And, and we were doing prank calls, and he gave me a number. And he's like, "Yo, prank call this," and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." He's it was, like, the, yeah, FBI. It was the FBI. And I was like, "What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you scum, fuck! Who did that? He made me call the FBI. I, what I gave the him fuck? like a fucking yeah. Probably some FBI. Number. I was like, "Hello, is it the FBI?" I was like, "What? <laughs> you can call the FBI?" I didn't know that. I didn't. Yeah, know something like that. Literally. Not like you know, just something like, like that. Front office. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's oh, back CIA when that's back when there? swatting's coming up. Yeah. I got swatted one day. That was insane. You got swatted. Yeah, you got swatted. It wasn't like a full-on SWAT team, but I think everyone. Yeah, got yeah everyone's. Like, you guys probably, everyone got, you got, guys probably got way bro. worse than me, but like I've, I, on stream I or were you live? No, not at all. I was oh. I was in my boxers. I remember like it was yesterday. I was in my boxers. I got just going from school like two thirty, three o'clock. In my boxers, nothing at all. Saggy tits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wilding around. My mom's in the kitchen. We have the front door wide open because it's beautiful out. My, my sister's walking up from the bus. Two cops walk to the front door and they're like, is everything all right in here? My mom's like, what? And they're like, yeah, we got to call you of hostages, bombs, and guns in the house. So they, so they sent two cops? Yeah. And yeah. And then, well, because For I mean, hostages. in my bombs area, hostages in my area, the, the likelihood of this right, is right, like right. near zero. So they're like, what the fuck? Yeah. And they're like, they searched the whole house. My parents are like, what the fuck are you doing? They had us on our like, knees with shotguns. Yeah. But I mean, like, who was who was there? Will was it's me, man. you, Cap, and Matt. I remember I was in the living room, my hand on my knees like this, with a a girl with a shotgun, like pacing back and forth in front of us. I One was of like, us could have actually got fucking. Blasted. I was like, what <laughs> the fuck is going on? That's terrible. She was. They were like in full like SWAT gear, and she just had a fucking big ass shotgun, and I was like, dude, I'm what? on my hands and knees. It's like an ounce terrifying. of weed in the drawer. We're all just looking at it like. <laughs> They're not worried about that. Didn't one of them say something when they were leaving? Uh, yeah, they said sure something they, about they the smell. They were like, you got weed in the house, right? <laughs> yeah. I was like, what hey, leave? You know, like, did the chat ever, like, say back then? Because, like, what? I knew when I was watching you guys and you guys went to the garage or, like, a few of you disappeared. I knew it was going on. Oh, I won't And this is back when, like, yeah. Like, like, did chat ever, like, be like, I never really smoking? smoked like that. Like, nah, he's not. Yeah, I didn't really smoke. No? No, nah, Nobody said anything. Well, because back problems. then it was different. Like, now it's like, who gives a fuck? Back then... It was a little different oh, to where it it's like different. you smoked weed. It was like you were yeah. committing I mean, a federal crime. Yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't film Matt. I couldn't film Matt when when the dynasty first started or when I came on board when he was smoking a cigarette. Yeah, like oh, that's yeah, how yeah. that's how like that's how protective Hector was back then. So yeah. weed. I mean, weed was off the table. I mean, yeah. Even va even when vapes came around and 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 uh, Damon would smoke a vape, I asked Hector like, "Yo, like it's a vape," and he was like, "No, nothing," and then. 
yeah, now he owns a fucking weed company. So <laughs> <laughs> things change. Things change. Things change pretty, pretty quick. Things change pretty quick. And sh- I mean, honestly, like all props to Hector because we didn't experience it in the scuff house at all. I don't. Uh, swatting. Yeah. He, like he, oh, the he, the second one? Yeah. He, contact, he contacted the authorities and said, yo, we live here. Yeah, it was like if there's ever a hostage situation, you know, just know that it's not real. What about that one story? Have we ever told that story? Wait, Have we told we that on video? Well, actually, I was watching the podcast from the other day, and they put that part in. We did tell front. that story. Yeah. Dude, what, that what, shit wait, was story, hilarious. It was the night that Pam, oh, it was the, Pam, when he went to the wrong house. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that's what you were talking Dude, about. Dude, that whole night was crazy. Bro. Like, that was bound to happen. Like, I'm pretty sure that was the night of my birthday where I got roofied and then came home before everyone, you guys are still out. Wait, and, what, what'd the guy say? I'm sorry, what'd the guy say? He's like... To Pam? Oh, he go he goes, Is this your buddy right here? And I see Pam in the back. No, no, like, the guy at the front door. The like the guy that answered the door, he was Oh wait, no, you're right. The, was it the cop? Yeah, the cop said oh, it. Was he was like he's like, This your buddy right here? And I'm like looking, I'm like, damn, Pam is back there. I wonder what happened. <laughs> he's like, Yeah, he's knocking at the fucking wrong house. He's like, he's like He's like, you lucky he didn't get his fucking head blown off. <laughs> He's like, the guy had a gun on the other side of the door. Oh my like, Jesus, God. So I'm Pam was a bit. Yeah, like, yeah that's what I was thinking. Oh, He's probably shit. just like, if you come to the store, I'm gonna fuck. Because you remember, remember, like we didn't have, like we didn't have keys. <laughs> no. And so if the imagine if it was open, I mean, dog, we lived shot. in a no, house. Not imagine. We lived in a house and didn't have keys. No keys. No keys, and the the door was just always unlocked. That's no security. Everyone knew where we lived. It's sketchy thinking back on it. Yeah, I didn't know that was true. Did you have a key? I never really thought about it, but now it's super sketchy. <laughs> yeah. If it was locked, sometimes you may go around the back, get lucky if the bottom one's open. Like yeah. Crack. Oh, there was always a door unlocked. Yeah, yeah. At all times, there was always one door unlocked. Like you just walk in, you, people could have walked into the scuff house whenever they wanted. For sure. Like, thank God we're not there anymore because. Now that like actually like saying it. Well, out now loud. we're all older and we actually think about shit like that. Like yeah, back yeah, then, yeah. we we didn't even think about shit like, like at all. Fuck. That, was, that was all. all wild. Yeah, like if if the if the door was unlocked, you'd have to go to check all the doors to see if any of them were, or if the door was locked. You have to check every door, and if none of them were unlocked, you'd have to bang. Or because if nobody was responding in the group chat, that means you guys were all either somebody was streaming, or you just hope that somebody was awake. And that's why Pam was, that's why Pam was banging. Cause he couldn't, he yeah, thought nobody was insane. answering him. They probably showed up like, like, is this guy actually trying to break into one of these houses? <laughs> Are you an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> that's crazy. Oh man. I don't even know if, I don't even know if houses, not only do I know I couldn't live in a house like that anymore, but I don't even know if those like exist anymore. Do, do team, team houses house? like that exist? No, I don't that think was so. so good. Yeah, we, they have like content houses. I mean, they, like little, they, like, they don't exist teams, like that one did. Like the, there's only one I know of that's pretty big. AMP. I don't know if you. AMP. Like, oh, that's like Kai and, or Kai. Speed. Oh, yeah. oh, Kai. Kai. I know he's like, like 60k subs. They or, live. They live in a house together. I have no idea. I didn't know that. Dennis Agent. Those those dudes are yeah they're popping right yeah. now. What do they play? They're, I think they just chat, right? Yeah, they, they just chill. They just chat and chill. Video well, chat we with saw people, do random stuff. The Envy house Dance blew up and... on stream. You guys remember that? What was it? Remember when Envy like blew up on stream? They, they had a team house too. I'm pretty sure like Damon like stormed off or Rambo stormed upstairs. There was- Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah when they were- Wait, Matt, weren't you on that team? No. Was that was right before me. You said, don't call oh, me Damon. Oh, oh. No, yeah, I think was, that I think was that, that was, video. Was that in the Envy House? Is that when they like sort of yeah, blew up Yeah, it's when they lived other? in North Carolina or yeah. South yeah, Carolina. Wasn't Proof arguing with Rambo one time? Too? No, Proof was the one streaming. Yeah. Oh, Proof was, yeah. Like you knew what was going on in the Optic House at all times. One of you was vlogging. There was videos. Now now everything's different. It's all official. The professional cameras. Yeah. The setups, the green screen. That's the thing now about competition Now too. it's so it's much like, di- Back then it was just like raw footage of everything. Everybody's Playing got like pranks. production teams now. Yeah. And, yeah. Whatever. You're gaming 12 hours on stream and in one camera you could see all four dudes. Like I mean, it was just different. Just I, different. I'm, competing is taken way more seriously. I feel like that's why it's a lot harder now to make content yeah, sure. while you're competing. Because like now... There's 48 spots and you have two, you have full coaching staffs. Like competing nowadays is yeah. it's so much like more strenuous and, and stressful it's than back then. One bad stage, everybody's calling yeah. for your replacement. 
like back then there was 32 teams if you get dropped you're getting picked up somewhere yeah and and there was no yeah. contracts. You can go wherever you want. Now yeah. it's like I'm a restricted free agent. You have yeah. to buy me out. Who the fuck wants to Everything buy me? Everything is so different now from back then. It's insane. Yeah, that's what that shit is whack. It, yeah. it depends on I who mean, you I are. I mean, I get it, but like, so if the prices are real, I've heard it's like, all right. yeah, like, so, you no, could so, have some are crazy. You could have a team literally hold you back and not let you join yeah. a team that you want to go to that's now. That's insane. I think like, that just happened in Halo. Matt and I were talking about this like a, a month ago. There was a huge shakeup. One of the best teams in Halo history, like has a a shakeup, and they think that they're going to make a roster change, and they get held back, right? Renegade yeah, it's just different now because contracts. Yeah, you just can't be like back in the day. You could just switch teams whenever you wanted. Just dude, you could play on a team. Different. You could be scrimming at a team up to Thursday, play with a different team on or play with a different team on Friday. Yeah. Oh yeah, like that's it was. Yeah. It was it happened insane. to me. A lot. You could get dropped one night and then wake up on a different team. No, literally. You text someone and they drop someone, and now you're on their team. It's like I'm pretty sure people have sw- changed mid scrim before. Like there are teams that have literally changed. Oh, yeah. They've, they've been scrimming on, each uh, other, and like I players would swap teams and they join different calls. Can you imagine? Wait, I that's was on CK with Sharp, Gunjar, and it's Theory. I think I was Theory. On, yeah, I, I can't remember, but I know I left their team like literally mid scrim <laughs> to join uh, Unite. I think. Yeah, my career literally started because I got dropped from I think TK. Or Envy. It was either TK or Envy because I got dropped. I was asking to get dropped. I was teaming with like Proofy. Uh, I fucking what, forget. Were you on who Fear? Else. You started well, off on no, Fear. No, this was in Black Ops 1. This was in Black Ops 1. Oh, okay. It was about to be the first event. I got dropped. And then my mom almost didn't let me go to Dallas. And then I got picked up by Bobby, a, Pat, and T. Leverage, yeah. Yeah, and I got picked up with them, went and won the event. That was That's a sick crazy. team, man. I literally was begging to get dropped. That's how toxic I was. I was like 15. I was like, I'm not going to the event with y'all. Bezo, Bezo, I oh, think. Yeah. I was like, please drop me. I'm not. Go- I don't want to go with y'all. I woke up and I was dropped. And then you. And then I joined Pat and them, and then went to Dallas and won. <laughs> 2011. Y'all won that event. Yeah, it was my first event ever. 2011. I got dropped like a week before. Joined a new team. Went and won. That was the only event y'all won that year. Huh? That was the only event y'all won that year. No, we won two that year. We won Dallas and the yeah. uh, Morehouse. Yeah. Oh, you did win it. You got yeah, yeah. Fear Moho. Dazzle DVC 100. But yeah. I literally, <laughs> if I don't get dropped, who knows where I'm at? The, the, life's crazy. I mean, that happens a lot. Happens. Imagine I don't come back to Optic. Where am I at? Right. Who knows? Life's crazy. There's so it's many actually, little things. It's actually crazy. You, you get dropped from Unite. You join Optic. You get dropped from Ultra. You blow the fuck up. That was fucking crazy. Something happens with, uh, you, you say you got dropped, but you or you retired something last year, and now you're the face of halo i mean when whenever you you can didn't you never got dropped <laughs> no i, just, <laughs> I guess that's the I think history. i dropped sid rock and jcap and i was like we're joining optic oh really is that how that started yeah what year was that ghost or sorry the end of yeah. mw2 Two? yes we played mw2 nats with me ray sid rock and jcap and then no actually what happened is going into black ops one sid rock and jcap left and joined optic and optic was matt sid rock cap and Merc? That was an MW2? Was that like That was the XP? very start of Black Ops 1. And for whatever reason, they ended up dropping Jacob and Sid Rock for, for me and Ray. And then we ended up dropping Ray for... So y'all, y'all were just playing musical chairs back then. Yeah. It was insane. And it was the most fun time of my fucking life. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, it was. I, will, I would wait. Oh, man. There was nothing better than like... Like weekends off school. GBs. You lose one match, remake the fucking team. We're, we're horse shit. Bro, remember when you had to wait, though, the 12 hours? That was the that worst. That was infuriating. And that's why you had to lose early. Like, you had to get on If you're going to lose, lose first you, game. Yeah, oh, God. So we could just figure <laughs> this shit out later. <laughs> you had to wait, like, 12 hours. And that I was actually the time 16, of my life. And then, GBs, or I'm no, talking, like, 16, 14 hours 12, a day, 16 man. hours a day. I'm sleeping in every class. The only thing on my mind was game battle yeah. matches. It was the most fucking fun it. I've ever had in my entire life. Like two v two tournaments, no money involved at all. It was the best time. Buying ten credits, mom, you gotta let me buy credits. She's like, "What?" I'm like, (laughs) "Mom, I need credits." My grandfather's like, "Is this site even fucking real?" (laughs) I'm begging for money for credits, and I'm getting pissed on in the tournaments, but I'm winning GBs because like they were good kids, and I'm like starting to come up. I would do anything to go back, just for like a day. It was just like the pure fun. The money was now it's a job. Prize claims are good though back then. What, no, did, well, no. Halo, did Halo yeah, have you went, yeah. third party sites like that? Or did, were you just got, were you guys just grinding ranked? Halo was on game battles. Yeah. It was? Yeah. So y'all were grinding yeah. game battles as well? Yeah. 
at one point. Halo and COD, those are like the best events. That's like what Dallas. It's crazy Anaheim. to think that it used to be like it a used to be rivalry. Yeah, it used to be yeah, in the like same in the same building. I used to think the Halo guys were the coolest people yeah. in the world. I, I was see like, T squared. I go, he's talking to Dr Pepper girls. Yeah, he's my <laughs> guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm wilding up, getting a bag of flips, the chocolate pretzels, wilding away. Oh, yeah, of course. They had some good sponsors, man. I always wanted to go, but I never, because back then, like, early high school, you kind of, like, hide the fact that you're a nerd. Like, I, I hid it. No one knew about me. Yeah. yeah really? I had different social medias. My, my teacher. Yeah, so did I. I had different social medias, and my ex, my ex-girlfriend found my gaming one and broke up with me. She no thought way. I was a, you she thought I was a different person. She was like, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> what? Yeah, broke up with me. And then I sold what? my I sold my Xbox to get back together with her. I was so. Then we broke up and I bought an Xbox back because priorities. That was the ultimatum: sell the sell the Xbox. Sell the Xbox, yeah. I think it may have. I chased. I should have chased. I did some MLG thing where I went to like their headquarters in New York, and like I forgot what game I played. Max Payne. <laughs> no, Max that Payne. Was Call of Duty. No, that that's was. That's where I met Nick Merckx. Oh, is it? Yeah, like way, way, way back. Yeah, this was like so long ago. Like this was a long. That's time. when I met like Nick Merckx. Like Stro was there. It was like, I for, I, dude. There's so many. Fun. It was like so Fear Assassin. I forget who else was there. Bro, look at Fwiz and Astro. There's a good amount of people. Dude, they were like, Fwiz was a game battles ref. Game battles ref. <laughs> yeah. Fwiz is that. He was guy. a damn good one though. And now he's like the CEO of like the Fwiz biggest one guy. of the biggest crypto companies yeah. in the world. It's like what the? F he was the head. of It's actually crazy. Stro, look at Stro. He understands Grindr, bro. whatever we're living in. Saw the opportunity and <laughs> has not stopped. I knew he was that guy. We went out one time and then like I randomly checked my pocket and it's Fwiz's wallet. I'm like, what the hell? I had mine, but it was his too. I'm like, what the fuck? And then the first card I see says Google. I'm like, yo, I have your wallet. Pulls up in the matte black I8. I'm like, yo, this guy <laughs> figured it out, bro. <laughs> but Fwiz is that guy. <laughs> yeah, it's been a journey. That's how I got started. MW2 Winter Showdown. You were probably planning it. I don't yep. think you were. Casted yeah. by Fwiz and Hastro. It was like one had the blue background, one had the red background on the casting. Thing. Yeah, it was like Nex, you, Dodgers, Punisher, yeah, like yeah, OG names that most people don't even know. No, the, the and that was like I was playing because I started. I was playing Radar on game battles, I just wonder, like bolts only and like yeah, shit like that. Play that weird shit. Yeah, I, I was. How many I was. Are I was a Radar around. star. What's I wonder that? how many people are still around from that time. Like people that watch. You think there's a lot? No, very, there's no way. Very rarely, like people in my chat, like yo, like I remember you. I knew you back in like Black Ops One, and I'm like, I say a name, I'm like, I vaguely remember that. Yeah, I still it was different. A couple people from back, back then, then you used like, to meet someone in like pubs, and you guys become friends. Yeah. Crazy. I dude. miss some of my old friends. I used to play. I wish I could talk with. to them. Like, damn, yeah, me too. Yeah. Like, I wonder what they're up to. Like, I used to play with these kids every day. Like, no text, nothing to like. I get on at this time, but hopefully you get back from school. What is you Wheats doing? I know Wheats still around. He's what producing he? beats and he's in music industry, I'm pretty sure. Does he? Yeah, he's oh, doing Wheats, is, Wheats, is, Wheats had a, a hand injury. So I think it's with Rise oh, okay. I think it's with Rise as well. That's what it was. Yeah. He's yeah. With Rise, Rise, he does music stuff. Yeah. But uh what was I gonna say? Shit. Yeah, back then my pet who the fuck are you talking to on the internet? This could be a forty year old dude. I'm like, Dad, it's fucking it's Grandma. just Paul Magna, don't worry. Grandma. Grandma. Well, back then, it used to be like Jersey people. Grandma, it's Mark. He lives in people. Bayonne. Cali people play with Cali people. They're like, how do you know he's not 50? So you could host fuck. Trying to kidnap Yeah, so like, I know, like, I know that my teammates are more than likely going to be from Jersey. Like, yeah. if I'm playing with Method, it's going to be probably Mikey. He's from Jersey. My like, dog so. was there. He used to come sometimes. Assassin, Twiz, BL Fire. We had a, we said a crew. No, yeah. it just, <laughs> That's a good, that's a good crew. Different time, regrets. dude. Regrets? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He used to be right. Him and yeah. uh I still follow him. What was the other one's name? White? Oh, uh, um, damn. Bro, we gotta know it. Oh, I remember I remember the referees? his face. Regrets? I remember his face. White something? I remember his face. Dude, he had like longer hair, hair, right? They Did he like... play with regrets or yeah, they were like the duo, I think. Yeah, but they were like they would ref it too. They would work yeah, they I would work it. Was... Used to pay NJ used to get eliminated, you can pay NJ Rod twenty bucks, I'll put you right back in. I got eliminated four times Rod. <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing Rod yeah, cash. Rod Put me back in. I play the same people four times. Sometimes, like, what the sometimes fuck? if it was going too late, you just have to split the money. Yep. Everyone. Oh, I'm what like, a time. My dad's these fuming. Are in, these are NJ there. Halos? Yeah. yeah. Those, Those were unreal, times. man. Those are good times. The but like, it just. That's when I first started teaming with him. He's like, yo, drop your teammate for me. I was like, all right. Text her. I was like, yeah, we're playing with Bose. It was like me, you. That's when we went pro. Me, you, Fluff, and Maj. No, me, oh, you, yeah. who was it? Me, you, Funk, and Fluff? Or me, me you, you, Lawless. No, it was, no. Wait, who went? Dallas, when we first placed pro. Yeah, me, me you, you, was it Fluff, Fluff and, and Maj? Or was it Lawless? Yeah. 
No, I think it was Mosh. Maybe it was Mosh. We I beat Fear for top eight. Best yeah. day of my life. I remember I, this one, Nate Shot was huge and I wasn't anybody. I'd walk in with Nate Shot. You couldn't walk. He's getting stopped every second. Yeah, yeah. I was like, holy fuck. Remember, those are the days before pros had their own bathroom. I remember at, at Philly, there was, a, there was a mob outside of the bathroom. And it's because, or maybe, no, yeah. It, no, this is this is at a, in AW. And Nade and Matt had walked into the bathroom and there was a mob of people outside of the waiting bathroom. Waiting on them to come out? Waiting Wait, for didn't them to Hector come out used to have bathroom. to, I'm pretty sure Hector used to stand outside the stall so yeah, no one could like to, for me, take like pictures under or over or whatever. Yeah. Cause like <laughs> people were fucking weird. That, I mean, that was a different time. The cod, the cod blow up was crazy. Yeah. But thank you guys for uh, for doing this, man. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, that's been the second episode of Inner Circles. So uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Hey. Feeling better than I ever been. Cairo in his bag. This beat is heaven sin. Back up in my element. New whip. Trunk up in the front. I whip an elephant. It's all limo tint. That's how you.